Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Thursday, April 18th. Yes, just, just, yes, April 18th, 2019. Um, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please go ahead and email me. My email is in the description box below. Um, 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 also, these energy, the, the, the energies are fluid, okay? So just because this is a reading that, or a message that's coming through today doesn't mean it has to resonate today. If at any moment you watch this video and it's not the day that it's dated for, then it was most likely the right time for you to get a message that you need should they all, should they resonate with you, yes? Okay, uh, before I go any further, I want to, I want to mention one thing. Um, I went live on Instagram yesterday and did a reading for the full moon in Libra, and it was a super awesome reading. A lot of really great stuff came out, but then I didn't save it or like I didn't share it, so now it's gone. And if you, if you were watching like say happy hour last night and you heard me talking about this reading, but then you went to my Instagram page <laughs> and found that it's just kind of not there. Yeah, that was my fault. I totally spazzed on that. And I'm actually kind of upset about it because it was a really good reading, but sorry guys, that happened. Anyway. I'm going to get into the reading for today. This is for Thursday. Now, keep in mind, we have the Libra full moon tomorrow, Friday, the eight, the, the 19th. Um, and so um, a lot of the relationship stuff that has been coming up lately most likely has to do with the full moon. Now, uh, we've been talking about soulmate relationships and whatnot for the last like two and a half weeks here on happy hour, not a happy hour, on um, morning coffee. So it most likely is the full moon in Libra, the energies of that, that are influencing this. Because what came through in the reading yesterday on Instagram was um, lots of balancing of karma. Um, again, reiterating the message of stepping off the karmic hamster wheel that we've been talking about in Morning Coffee, uh, um, consistently balancing out of relationships. If there's any sort of beef that you have with someone, any sort of, um, anything that would, you know, you would want to make peace with, um, now is a great time to do that and this was that's what was coming through in that reading even if you can't necessarily make peace with someone in the physical sense talk to them hash it out blah 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 make amends energetically you have the space the time and the energy to really tackle that to let some things go to let some sort of new perspective sink in and allow you to transform or transform a relationship or remove yourself from the karma of the relationship because at this point a lot of lessons have really been learned and you can finally step off the karmic hamster wheel yes okay so with all that said um <clears throat> i'm not intending to do a full moon reading here this is literally just the general energy but i wanted to um recap that a little bit in case well, many of you didn't get to see it at this point, but <coughs> excuse me. Um, yeah, I just wanted to recap that a little bit. Okay, guys. Thursday, April 18th, 2019. Let's get to it. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Thursday, April 18th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. Alrighty, guys. Thursday, April 18th. 2019 general energies whatever spirit would like to speak with us 
about today is what will come through Thursday, April 18th. One more shuffle, and then we'll see what we've got for today. Okay. I'm gonna give it one more shuffle, just cause, just for fun, for shits and giggles. Okay, that's good, here we go. Best messages, please, spirit. Thursday, April 18th, 2019. Okay. Ooh. All right. Overall energy. Ha ha ha. Okay. We've got the Knight of Cups here. Now, this could be an offering. This could, this could be maybe someone opening up to you. Um, but it's also the cosmic heart, cosmic heart chakra awakening that we're all going through here, okay? We've got the Six of Swords, the Ace of Swords with the Queen of Pentacles. And then we also have the Magician, yeah, I knew it. The Ten of Swords in Reverse. The Moon and Shadow Work. Okay, well, looky here. Looky what we have here. We have the Moon. The Moon came out here, so. Okay, so this could have to do with some of this Full Moon in Libra energy, y'all. Okay. But now shadow work has come out as well. So. Interesting. This is really cool. So we were talking about the masculine yesterday. Again today. Well, not again. But today we're talking a little more about the feminine aspects here. The feminine side of the situation. What I'm seeing here is an individual that has, has, is quite well manifested, okay? Quite well, very well balanced. Balanced, grounded, is a nurturing energy. But whoever is represented here by this queen of pentacles, they are taking their leave. Six of swords, ace of swords. This is just moving on with deep, a deep sense of knowledge. Um, what I'm feeling with this Ace of Swords is that this knowledge, this perspective, this understanding that this Queen of Pentacles holds here, it was hard won. It was not an easy thing to come to. It was not an easy situation to come to. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. This is an energy that I'm, what I'm seeing here with the Six of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. It is an energy of, um, you could say, the Queen of Pentacles kind of turning her back and going in a different direction. But I don't want anyone to think that she's doing this happily. This is a reluctant thing thing okay it really is kind of a reluctant there is a there is an air a sense of reluctance here and if it's not reluctance it's just sorrow a little bit of well okay it could be deep sorrow um on a soul level this actually is pretty deep sorrow okay because this is the energy of walking away from all of this the ten of swords all right the ten of swords is here in reverse this person has fully released any sort of pain, heartbreak, trauma, and the reason why, number one, this energy with this, this understanding here with the Ace of Swords is so, was so hard won was because the circumstances that she went through, that she dealt with to gain the information were pretty freaking awful. Ten of Swords. Now, the Ten of Swords is in reverse here. So that does mean that um, 
there is a release, okay? Whereas at one point, the Ten of Swords was upright because the situation was wrapping up, it was completing, it was closing, we were closing a karmic cycle. Now it's actually closed out and done and over with the Ten of Swords in reverse and someone is moving forward. Knowledge in hand, Six of Swords, okay? But it's not... I mean, it's happy in the sense that, yes, the karmic cycle is closed out, it's finished, um, there's relief, but there's also a bit of regret or remorse here because everything didn't necessarily go the way it was originally planned. And I'm not going to say that, I'm not going to say that things didn't go away, it was the way it was intended because even if, like, say, part of the circumstance was you there was a possibility that you would be with this person. It wasn't a necessity. What was intended was for the lessons to be learned and the karmic cycle to be closed out. Ten of Swords in reverse. That's what happened. Okay? That is indeed what happened. Now, So there's a little bit, there's a little bit of sorrow here, kind of, kind of like, oh, well, didn't go exactly as planned, but at least, at least the lesson was learned, Ace of Swords, right? I mean, the Queen of Pentacles is a very practical energy. She is very logical, very grounded, very down to earth. I do like to say that she and the Queen of Swords are like best friends, but the Queen of Pentacles does know how to handle emotion or is more willing to handle emotion, much more willing than the Queen of Swords. Now, down here though, you have the Magician, okay? So in the face of whatever karmic energy you are releasing, whatever rough situation you have wrapped up and you are now moving, actively moving away from, you are manifesting something new. And I really do have to feel, I, I really feel like that new that you're manifesting has ab has everything to do with manifesting it through the contrast. But what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing here, what Spirit is saying is that you are, some of, many of you are actively manifesting that which you want compared to what you had in the past that showed you what you didn't want, okay? Um, major karmic, uh, see, this, we have the moon here. The moon is talking about cycles, okay? Endings, closures. And coupled with shadow work here, a lot of shadow work has been done, is continuing to be done. And didn't the shadow, shadow work come out yesterday in reverse, talking about masculine energy? If it wasn't yesterday, it was sometime this week, but I really do think it was yesterday. I'm getting here with the Ten of Swords in reverse, the moon and shadow work. Successful shadow work has, done, has been done. Cycles are really coming to a close. There is a time of release here, release of this Ten of Swords energy, okay? So some of you actively are releasing or have released it or, well, no, let me say it this way. Through, throughout the course of this full moon that's coming up tomorrow, um, at any point during the spectrum of time in which we would be, be feeling the energies of the full moon, whether that's like one to two weeks before the actual full moon or one to two weeks after the actual event, you know what I mean? Over the course of that time period, we are releasing this cycle, we're releasing this energy, closing out that karma, manifesting something new through the closing of the cycle and the shadow work that has been done throughout the cycle. This feels very successful, this shadow work energy here, coupled with the moon, it like it's just like, it's a, oh, it's a sigh of relief because literally the situation can be closed out, closed out. The cycle can be ended and something new can be manifested here, okay? Now, I want to make something very clear. I, this is a general reading, okay, guys? So if you're not, 
I mean, if you, you absolutely can be resonating with the message or the energies of closing out a cycle, but that does not mean that your relationship with a specific person is ending. That's not the case for everybody. Some people are closing out a karmic cycle with one person that they're going to continue being involved with, regardless of whoever they are, friend, family, lover, soulmate, twin flame, whatever, who, whatever, a business partner, a creative partner, whoever, okay? Others of us will be, or others of you will be um, closing out a cycle with a certain individual and ending that or, or the relationship coming to a close, at least for now. Okay, some of us are staying with the person, some of us are moving on from the person, you know, take it as it resonates, okay? It is a general reading, so I just wanna, I just wanna make sure I am absolutely clear about that because I don't want anyone to think just because you're closing out the cycle means that this, the relationship with this person is ending. It's just the karma. The karma is being released, okay? And that's been the message all week. Yes? Oakley Dokley. I'm trying to think, how do I want to um, clarify this? I'm just going to do it in the rows here and see what comes out and just let the cards speak. I am using my favorite deck right now, the Tarot Illuminati. This is the deck, one of the decks that I use for, that I origi originally started using as the, um, one of the mirror decks for the mirror reading, for the twin flame reading. I usually use this one for the divine feminine, but I really felt pulled, felt called to use this deck today. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to clarify this top row here first. Um, with the focus being on this queen of pentacles, okay? And I kind of want to ask, I want to see, like, what's next for this queen of pentacles? And then we're going to go down here and see what is in the process of being manifested. We'll get a little bit, I want to see what's next for the queen of pentacles, like what to look out for as this queen of pentacles is moving forward. And then I want to see what's being manifested through this shadow work that has happened and this closing of a cycle, this release of the 10 of swords energy. Okay. All right. One more shuffle. And let's see what's coming on down the pipeline for this Queen of Pentacles. Alrighty. First, first, we'll say the Page of Cups is on the bottom of the deck. Um, there could be some sort of reconciliation, or as you move forward, there is there needs to be a type of dreamer energy. Okay. Um, as you're moving forward in this Queen of Pentacles state, allow your dreams to guide you to where you want to go, okay? Allow them to be a beacon for you, to show you the way, to help you fine tune your vibration, your attunement to the desired outcome or your vibrational vortex, whatever, however you wanna say it. Allow your heart, especially with this Knight of Cups, which is talking about the um, heart chakra awakening, cleansing, clearing that we've been going through for some extended amount of time. And this dreamer energy here with the page of cups, allow your dreams and your emotions to guide you to where you want to go as you're moving forward here with the six of swords. Okay. Let's get a little bit more here, please. Spirit for this queen of pentacles moving forward. Some things to look out for, I guess. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay, that one, that one too. All right. Wow. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah. Looky here. Underneath the deck, you have the Seven of Cups. Okay. Look, I'm going to, I'm going to say this right here, right now. This feels a little bit rough. This really feels a little bit rough, especially since one of the first cards that came out here is the Tower with the Five of Wands. Okay. Okay. Um, it's the tower with the five of wands, but then the balancing energy here is the three of pentacles, oddly enough. That's interesting. Okay. Um, and then you have, we'll get, to, we'll get to that in a second, but then you have the page of cups with the 10 of swords again. 
all right? So this is definitely an energy of learning through the contrast, manifesting through the contrast, um, understanding what it is that you went through with this Ten of Swords energy here, right? This Ten of Swords energy, all of the stuff that led you to that difficult ending, okay? Dream through it. Dream. Make peace with it also. Make peace with yourself. Make peace with yourself here, okay? You, whoever this is, whoever you are, as this Queen of Pentacles, you could be a man, okay? Just wanna make, sh make that clear. We're talking energy here. We're talking the, the, um, the emotional, the compassionate, the mother-like, the nurturing type energy, all right? You don't have to be a woman in gender to resonate with this. We're literally just talking about the energy. So whatever you resonate with the most, you just take that. But um, be willing to forgive yourself. Maybe for whatever it is you've done, maybe what if whatever it is you allowed to happen in your life, okay? But also, there's some sort of energy of someone, <laughs> someone burned the house down. Something I like to say, someone pulled a left eye. <laughs> I, I don't know if, I know there are, some of you are familiar with left eye. Well, obviously, a lot of people know left eye, but um, she's infamous for... <laughs> burning burning her boyfriend's house down <laughs> which is i think is hilarious i mean i wouldn't actually do it but when you think about it like it was it's I, i'm sorry it's not hilarious she was being abused by him and blah 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 whatnot whatever but anyway someone pulled a left eye all right with this tower energy and i say and that means that someone torched the situation it was just like i'm completely done screw it i'm done okay and there was a lot of con major conflict surrounding that, um, both internal and external. Inter in internal being, oh my God, I have this really super strong connection with someone or this person, but I don't want to deal with this anymore. I'm changing the game. I'm taking this down. I'm, dis I'm deconstructing this. This is not healthy. This is not helpful for me anymore. All right. But it was all the tempering, the tempering aspect here was all because it was in the name of self mastery taking your power back, take, regaining your autonomy, your sovereignty, your, your, your independence, okay? So you, this is, okay, see, and I told you in the beginning when I started this, this doesn't feel all that happy of a movement. Like, yes, we're relieved, we're happy that we're releasing, you know, the past, the karma and whatnot, but there's still a little bit of sorrow surrounding it, okay? Not even gonna lie. Mm. There's another card here. Ah, look, the Eight of Swords though. You really have to work on getting out of your head here. Okay, Think. look at it this way. What is absolute best for yourself and your spiritual development, your spiritual growth? Is it to be still stuck in this Ten of Swords energy? Or is it to break free, okay, stuck in the Eight of Swords, stuck in the Ten of Swords and Eight of Swords energy with the Eight of Swords, right? Or is it best to break free, break, bring the tower down, burn the house down, and create something new? Now, Here's the caveat. You're not doing this for shits and giggles, okay? You're not doing this. Here's that five of wands energy. You're not doing this because you just are being immature and you actually don't really want to deal with it. So you're just going to try and destroy it and ignore it. No, that's not the case here. We are way too... Look, this queen of pentacles is way too grown for that. She's been struggling, she's been fighting, she's been trying to make it work, but it just won't work. Ten of Swords, the tower, it just won't work. So you have to cut yourself some slack. Queen, um, uh, Page of Cups, you have to cut yourself some slack because all of, um, all of this is happening in terms of 
or for the sake of self-mastery. And that's really all that matters here. Because ultimately, when you come to this planet, you come to master yourself. Yes, through circumstances that you experience with other people, but you come to master yourself. And so as a result, you have some options moving forward. Allow yourself to dream. The Seven of Cups in this circumstance feels better than maybe it might in, in other circumstances. Why? Because now is the time, because of the dreamer energy, Spirit is saying. Now, because now this is the time for you to start figuring out what it is you want to manifest. Like here, with the, with the magician down here. Okay, so let's, let's talk about this. With all this shadow work that's do being done, all the cycles that's being closed out, the Ten of Swords, rough, rough and tumble energy that's being released, what are you manifesting here? Please, Spirit. Let's get a little... Oh, Two of Swords. Well, you don't really know right now, do you? <laughs> okay. Eight of Pentacles. That's very good. Eight of Wands, that's great. Oh, look at that, there's that Seven of Cups again. Okay, underneath the deck you have the Empress. That's beautiful, all right? Judgment has flown out and landed on the Six of Swords and it's out in reverse. The judgment call has been made. We're past this point now, okay? What this is saying with the judgment falling out in reverse on the Six of Swords, Spirit really wants people to get, to wrap their head around the fact that the judgment call has been made. It's time to move forward. The ascension has happened at this point. Like we've reached, we've ascended to this new level now. I'm not saying that the ascension is going to stop from here, but from what we've been dealing with, you've reached that new point. You've ascended, you've reached that new level. So it's time to release yourself from uh, Spirit said from the ego, but also from the circumstances, I guess you could say. All right. You have the Two of Swords with the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups again, and ooh, the Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay, guys. Oh, all right. So there's definitely a lot. This is quite emotional. This is really kind of emotional. What I feel like is happening right here, right now, or at least for what, what I'm channeling for, and keep in mind that this will, this can, whenever you watch this and it resonates for you, that's when it, it was right, uh, the right time for you to hear the message, okay? But we are needing to acknowledge some emotions here. Those of us in this feminine camp, you need to acknowledge your emotions. Many of you are up here talking about, talking all this, we're going to say it this way, talking all this mess, talking about, I'm sick and tired, I'm done, blah, 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 I'm moving on, I'm blah, 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 and that's all well and good. I'm not saying that you don't have a right to feel relief, but something's still hurting you, and it's time that you actually look at the situation with eyes of compassion not only for yourself, but for the other person. That is the part of this heart chakra awakening. What I'm picking up here is some of us are having trouble with this heart chakra awakening because they're, they're, uh, they're allowing themselves to stay in this egoic frame of mind of good riddance type energy. Like, okay, I understand that some really nasty, awful things have happened here. Okay, the Ten of Swords has come out twice in this reading. I understand that there were some really nasty things that happened. But what's really going to help propel you through this cosmic heart chakra awakening is having the compassion for the other people that were involved and thinking, uh, keeping in mind that they are human beings too with pasts that could be really hurtful, okay? You may know a good deal about someone, but you may not know everything. You may not know some of the deepest, darkest, most gnarly skeletons in someone's closet that help influence them towards what they are experienced or what they have expressed, okay? 
That's what that's what's coming through here with this Queen of Cups and Reverse energy, and also this Empress energy. Because as the Empress, the Empress is the balance of all of the queens. So she has that balance of compassion and understanding. Now that doesn't mean she's going to take shit. Doesn't mean she's going to take crumbs. It doesn't mean that she's going to be. You get it. But she still has the compassion for all players in the game. All right? Now, as far as what you are manifesting here, there's indecisiveness. That's true. There is indecisiveness. But that's what comes through. And also, it could mean, there could be some illusion. You may not be able to see things all too clearly, okay? Especially because of this moon energy. You're very much in a cycle of releasing, all right? Letting go. There's probably, okay, well, also, there's a little more shadow work that's happening. And that's what we were talking about here with this Queen of Cups energy. But... With all that said, there's quite a bit of abundance and the seven of cups came out again. So it's really, spirit is really trying to push you towards opening yourself up to that dreamer energy so that you can get the ball rolling here, doing the work with the eight of pentacles and moving forward with a clear understanding, a clear, I mean, the, the air is clear. It really is clear for you to move forward. So now there's a little more shadow work that needs to be done. Yes. in in, in cultivating some sort of compassion for some, um, but the real work now in manifesting is accepting the challenge of the dreamer and allowing yourself to dream, allowing yourself to like get, you know, slip into a little bit of the fantasy for a little bit to, to, to see what, what it is you want, what feels good to you at this point. What do you want to manifest? What do you want to align with? You know, allow yourself to do that work. That's the fun work, right? Of course it is. Okay. Yeah. So I think the title for this is going to be, this is not, this is not as much of a, a clean break or a clear getaway as you might think on the surface. There's a whole lot of vibrato right now for whoever this queen of pentacles energy represents, how that resonates with you. There's a good amount of vibrato, but there's also still a bit of heartache. Queen of cups in reverse. Okay. And to be quite honest, um, it's this Queen of Cups in reverse energy that could be um, giving you, putting you in this indecisive position, all right? This Queen of Cups in reverse could also just be the effects of the full moon, you know? It's got your emotions all, all twisted and gnarly and it's entirely possible, you know? Alrighty, guys, we're going to close the reading here with some Oracle guidance from the Crystal Manzala deck. Yes? Yes. All right, spirit, best message, please, to close out this reading. Best message, please, spirit. Just one more shuffle here. All right, guys, here we go. Best message, please, Spirit, for today, Thursday, April 18th, to close out this reading. Best message, please, Spirit. There it is. Authentic voice. Card, <laughs> Card number 17, guys. Angel Bath Cole and Aquamarine. Um, for some of you... You should invest in some aqua marine. I still feel like there are some people that still need to really express some sort of truth. And that doesn't have to happen to the actual person it's intended. You just got to get it out there. You got to, you got to, but honestly, it, this feels like being honest with yourself about some elements of this situation, okay? We bring you the gift of authentic voice. We want you to know your own truths and to speak them in your own way because you have something of value to share. Your inner world, your unique viewpoint, and the person that you are. 
When you speak from your authentic voice, you help others relax, come out of their heads and into their hearts, and remember the truth of who they are as well. Your authentic voice doesn't have to sound like the voice of any other. It doesn't need to always be soft, although it is in its own, um, I'm sorry, although in its own way, it will always be loving. Your authentic voice has a place in this world and has been designed to be a valuable part of the sacred, sacred choir of soul voices, which creates music for the universe. As you trust in your authentic voice, your ability to manifest your divine destiny will grow and your responsible use of the power of your voice will help many. <clears throat> the biggest thing, the biggest message that I'm getting from that, guys, is that many of you need to really be honest with yourselves about how you truly feel about this situation. And part of, part of getting yourself off this hamster wheel is making peace with it in your own sense. There is there are some out there that are that are, are very much putting up a brave face and maybe even still reacting through anger, but the anger is a result of some still some sadness, some pain, some sorrow, okay? But then also at the same time, you know, you have to be easy. You have to take it easy on yourself too because you learn the lessons. The changes that you made in this situation, this tower energy, it's in service of self-mastery, okay? So have some compassion for yourself too. Be easy on yourself, all right? Ultimately, you made the right decision. So whatever it is that you're leaving behind you, it's time to let go of. You learned the lessons, now just move on, says spirit. All right, guys. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Bye.